It was late afternoon and I was walking home. I was almost out of the forest when I saw a bush rustle and I heard quiet steps. They were rapid. I thought it was a deer. There aren't many deer and I loved to see them so I followed the noise. It led me to a clearing in a part of the forest I had never been to before. When the creature walked in the clearing I was shocked. It was almost 15 feet tall and had black, shaggy, thick fur. Its face seemed oddly dog-like and it had a large, almond-shaped, blank black eyes. Its legs were long and spindly and ended into a sharp point. I had never seen a creature like this before and there was blood on its mouth. It paused for a moment, as if sensing what was nearby. Then it looked directly at me. The moment it set eyes on me, I knew it was a mistake to follow that strange noise. It seemed like the creature could see my soul. I ran as fast as I could in one direction, but what seemed like hours of running, and still I couldn't find the end of the forest. I knew I had only followed the sick creature for a few minutes, but hours of running couldn't get me back. I was lost. I checked behind me for the creature, and I saw it wasn't following me. I relaxed a little, but I was still tense from the fact I couldn't get out. I hear a voice ahead of me, so I sprint to it. I finally emerged from the forest on the sidewalk. The voice had been the police. My mother ran over and hugged me from behind. I screamed, thinking it was the beast. I guess I had been in the forest for a while and my mom got worried. I got home and forgot all about the monster in the endless forest. I sat up in bed and put on my glasses to see the clock. 2.39 it read. I wonder it had woken me up. For a moment, and then I just decided it was a nightmare, but I just don't remember it. I tried to go back to sleep, but it eludes me. I go to get a drink of water and I, I hear it tapping. I look out the window, but it's just too dark to see anything. I dismiss it as a branch. I get my water and hop into bed. I fall asleep after a while and wake up with a jolt from my nightmare. I was being chased by that beast endlessly until its extreme speed had gotten it close enough to launch a meteor into the air and land it straight on top of me. I checked the clock. 9.34 it said. I'd slept in with a nightmare. Great I thought. I wasted a few hours of my day and I got scared out of my skin. I walked downstairs to get some breakfast but oddly no one else was there. Probably went to work early, I told myself, but I felt like someone or something was watching me. I knew I didn't have a guardian angel because if I did, that creature would have never looked at me. I thought a bit about the creature and that it might have kidnapped my parents, or worse, it could have killed them. I went online and searched around. I only found a small bit of information about the creature. It was called a strider. It hunts animals and tears off their legs before feasting on their bodies. If a human follows them, then they will hunt down that person until they are dead. Then thought that the strider would not stop until I was dead. It was unsettling. I researched until lunchtime and only found that no one has encountered the monster or survived more than a few months after the encounter. I also found a few other names that people called that thing. Stilt Walker and Forest Strider. It was time that my parents came home from work for their break, but they didn't. I called their work, but I was told that they hadn't come in. I called 911 to report missing people. After the police left, I decided to end this. I walked to the forest and followed the tracks I had made in the mud to the clearing. The shredder stood tall and strong over decapitated cow elk. There was gore and entrails everywhere around the carcass. I felt like I was going to be sick, but I spoke to the creature. If I give you my life, will you leave my parents alone? I yelled at the hideous animal. It quickly looked at me and began to slowly creep towards me. It made no sound as it stalked. When it was close enough, it lunged at me, just like my nightmare, only I didn't run away. Months passed and the news on the murdered child had died down. No one had seemed to see me or my parents since the murder. The strider still walks the forests in search of its next meal. If you enter the forest in late afternoon, then be prepared and don't follow that strange noise.